Hey, what's going on, everybody? Happy Friday to you, Michael, coming in to you live again. And uh, today's topic, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. It's going to be uh, VR and E. It's an abbreviation for the old school uh, folk rehab. But the new days, uh, people know it by VR and E, Veterans Readiness and Employment Program. It's through the VA. So if you're a veteran, if you know a veteran, um, if you're still in the service and you think about getting out soon or even you think you're going to stay in and do 20 years, it doesn't really matter. This is something that's going to be readily available for you. Um, I never heard about it when I was in the military. Never even heard of it, man. I, I got out and started going to school using my GI Bill, actually, after about, I don't know, 12 different jobs in the in a short time frame, just working at different restaurants, working for not even like $14 an hour, you know, and just trying to make a living. I had a, uh, my son was a newborn child and pretty much had to start from scratch. Um, after getting out the military and going to a place I'd never been before, which ultimately, uh, I mean, I was kind of lost to say the least. I mean, I was living at home with my family. Um, instead of you know living off on the on the town in fort carson with bah and stuff like that and it was just pretty much a big culture shock so started using my gi bill uh post 9 11 that is and once i got into school i started networking with some other veterans and i pretty much just got some information and this is the same thing i'm going to go ahead and like let you guys know about and i got it i got approved for voc rehab at the time and we're going to just go ahead. Let's, let's just go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to go ahead and show you the guys this slideshow and go ahead and read. And this is coming straight off VA.gov. This isn't Michael's made up uh, class. This is straight facts. So hopefully you guys do your own due diligence and check the checker and, and just be cognizant of what you guys are getting yourself into. So here we go. So VR and E background information. If you're a veteran or service member with a service-connected disability that impacts your ability to work, the Veterans Readiness and Employment Program, formerly called Folk Rehab, uh, may be able to help. The VA offers five support and service tracks to help you get education and training. Find and keep a job and live as independently as possible. Explore the different tracks and find out which one may suit you the best. Okay, so here we go. Eligibility. All of these must be true to be eligible for VR and E. You didn't receive a dishonorable discharge, so other than honorable general and under the general under honorable conditions and also honorable discharge, you're you're there. Do you have a service connected disability rating of 10% or more from the VA? Okay, that's not that much to do. Tinnitus is 10% from the VA. But the main question here is, are you guys getting stuff documented from the VA? Do you guys have a service connected disability? Are you in the military thinking about getting your record straight? If you're going to get out, whether it's uh, in two weeks or whether it's in 22 weeks, 20 to 20 years, it doesn't matter. Are you guys doing the proper documentation process through the through the military and your VA channels? Next, next uh, point. When we receive your when the VA receives the VRNE application, they will schedule an initial evaluation with the VR VRC that's your which is your counselor. Okay, the VRC will determine if you're entitled to receive VRNE benefits and services. All right, it's very simple. We're going to go ahead and get into how you can apply as well today. So you guys will leave here hopefully with some questions for me or just some questions for yourself that you may need to go ahead and do some digging on. If you were discharged from active duty before January 1st, 2013, your basic period of eligibility ends 12 years from one of these days, whichever one comes later. The date you received notice of your date of separation from active duty or the date you received your first VA service-connected disability rating. The basic period of eligibility may extend if a VRC finds that you have a serious employment handicap. Having a serious employment handicap means your service-connected disability significantly limits your ability to prepare for, obtain, and maintain suitable employment. A job that does not make your disability worse is stable and matches your abilities, aptitudes, and interests. If you are discharged from active duty on or after January 1st, 2013, the 12-year basic period of eligibility doesn't apply to you. There is no time limit on your eligibility. Next slide. 
Are you, if you're on active duty, you may have questions. Are you eligible for veteran readiness and employment? Here we go, straight from the VA itself. You may be eligible for VRNE benefits and services if you are a service member and meet at least one of these requirements. One of these statements must be true, at least. You have a 20% or higher pre-discharge disability rating, memorandum rating, and soon will leave the military, or you are waiting to be discharged because of severe illness or injury that occurred while you were on active duty. Learn more about accessing VRNE services through the Integrated Disability Evaluation System, IDES. Note, severely injured active duty service members can automatically receive VRNE benefits before VA issues a disability rating. This is according to the Section 1631B of the National Defense Authorization Act. Benefits delivery at discharge, BDD. If you have an illness or injury that believe was caught, excuse me, that you believe was caused or made worse by your active duty service, you can file a claim for disability benefits through the BDD program 180 to 90 days before you leave active duty. So what's the, what's the takeaway there? Be proactive rather than reactive if you're gonna be on the cusp of thinking about using this program. This may help speed up the claim decision process so you can get your benefits sooner. What should I do if you receive an other than honorable discharge, other than honorable bad conduct or dishonorable discharge? If you received any of these discharge statuses, you may not be eligible for your VA benefits, but I'm not sure if you knew this or not, there are two ways that you can try to qualify. You can find out how to apply for a discharge upgrade and, or you can learn about the VA character discharge review. So if you meet that criteria, you know, you, there are still options for you to try to get your benefits straight for this program. Track one, reemployment track. If you are a veteran with a service connected disability, the reemployment track can help you return to your former job and support your employer in meeting your needs. As a veteran, you're protected under the Uniform Services Employment and Reemployment Act Rights Act. This means you can't be disadvantaged in your civilian career because of your service. If you are a veteran with a service connected disability, the reemployment track can help your employer accommodate your needs. Your vocational rehabilitation counselor can provide a full range of services and refer you directly to the Department of Labor to begin your pro begin the process. Find out how your VRNE counselor can help you return to your former job and support your employer in meeting your needs. Can I get help returning to my former job through VRNE? You may be eligible for help if you're a veteran with a service-connected disability and you meet all of these requirements. All of these must be true. You have an employment barrier handicap and you're enrolled in the Veteran Readiness and Employment VRNE. You'd like to return to your former job. Note, having an employment handicap means your service-connected disability limits your ability to prepare for, obtain, and maintain suitable employment. A job doesn't make your disability worse. It is stable and matches your ability, aptitudes, and interests. Track two, rapid access to employment track. If you want to find a job or a career that uses your existing skill set, the rapid access to employment track can help you with your job search. You may be eligible for these benefits if you're a service member or a veteran with a service connected disability and you meet all of these requirements. You have an employment handicap or barrier and you're enrolled in VRE and you already have experience, education, and training in your field of interest. Having an employment handicap means your service-connected disability limits your ability to prepare for, obtain, and maintain suitable employment. A job that doesn't make your disability worse is stable and matches your abilities, aptitudes, and interests. <clears throat> track two, rapid access to employment track continued. What kind of benefits can you get from this? You can get tools to help you with your job search. You can get professional or vocational counseling, help with writing your resume and preparing for interviews, help determining if you're eligible for veterans' preference. How do I get these benefits? Well, first you need to apply for your VRNE benefits. Then you'll work with the vocational rehabilitation counselor, your VRC. If you received a, your disability rating, you can apply online right now. It's that simple, guys. That's the whole point of this. It's just, all these things are very simple, but some of them just aren't aren't out in the light. <clears throat> Excuse me. Track three, self-employment track. Some say this is a hard track to get on. I personally try to get on this track and was denied but you still got to try to do your due diligence and see which one of these tracks may work best for you. If you're a service connected member or veteran with a service connected disability and employment barrier, the self-employment track can help you start your own business. 
If you're a service member or veteran with a service-connected disability and employment barrier who has strong desire, skills, and drive to run a successful business, you may be interested in the self-employment track. Find out if the, the VRE can help you start your own business. Self-employment track continued. Can I help? Can I get help starting my own business through the VRE self-employment track? You may be eligible for these benefits if you're a service member or veteran with a service-connected disability and you meet all the requirements listed below. You have an employment barrier handicap and you're enrolled VRE. Your service-connected disability makes it hard for you to prepare for, obtain, and maintain suitable employment. What kind of benefits can you get through the VRE self-employment track? Well, you can get coordination services that help with developing a proposed business plan, analysis of your business concept, training in small business operation, marketing, and finances, and finance guidance and getting the right resources to implement your business plan. After you develop your business plan, we'll review it, which is the VA, and they'll evaluate whether self-employment and, uh, and the proposed business are viable options. Track four, employment through long-term services. If you have a service-connected disability and an employment barrier, we can help you get the education or training you need to find work in a different field. If you have a service-connected disability that makes it hard for you to succeed in your employment path, you may be interested in the employment through long-term services track. We can help you get the education or training you need to find work in a different field that better suits your current abilities and interests. Okay, this is the track that I was able to get on and I and I did graduate uh, last year with my bachelor's in business management, okay? And I'll get a little bit, uh, I'm gonna touch a little bit more on that in just a second. <clears throat> track four, employment through service, and employment through long-term services track continued. Can I get professional vocational counseling and training for new skills through your BRNE? Yes, you may be eligible for these benefits if you're a service member or veteran with a service-connected disability of 10% or more, if you're a veteran, and you meet all the requirements listed below. You have employment barrier handicap, you're enrolled in VRNE, your service-connected disability makes it hard for you to prepare for, obtain, and maintain, maintain suitable employment, a job that doesn't make your disability worse is stable and matches your abilities, aptitudes, and interests. Note, you may be eligible for both VRNE training and GI Bill benefits. You'll need to decide which benefit you want to use. What kind of benefits can you get with this track? You can get a complete skills assessment. You can get career guidance. You can get job market evaluation. You can get education and training for a professional or vocational field that's a good fit for you. You can get an apprenticeship or on-the-job training and volunteer opportunities. You can also get employment assistance. And finally, track five is considered to be called the independent living track. If you're not able to return to work right away, you may qualify for services that can help you live as independently as possible. If your service-connected disability limits your ability to perform into activities of daily living, so like bathing, dressing, accessing the community, and interacting with others, and you can't return to work right away, you may qualify for independent living services through the independent living track. You may also receive these services as you work to find a job that's a goal for you and your vocational rehabilitation counselor have created. In both cases, your VRC can help you restore daily living activities. Track five continued. Can you get independent living services through VRNE? You may be eligible for independent living services if you're a service connected, if you're a service member or a veteran with a service connected disability who is eligible for VRNE benefits, but you must meet all the following requirements. Have a serious employment handicap and your disabilities prevent you from looking or returning to work. You're in need of services to live as independently as possible. Please note having an employment handicap means your service connected disability limits your ability to prepare for, obtain and maintain suitable employment kind of uh, redundant, but it's just to keep letting you know over and over, you need to meet this criteria to be eligible for this program. Depending on your need services may include for the independent living track, evaluation and counseling to identify your needs and goals, referral to support resources, evaluation to see if you're eligible for the VRNE home adaption grant. This grant is part of your rehabilitation plan to improve accessibility features in your home guidance to help you understand if you're eligible for adaptive housing programs. These programs can help you make changes to your homes like widening doorways or adding ramps so you can live more independently. 
Learn more about the adapt, adapt, adaptive housing grants. These services generally last 24 months. In some cases, you may be able to use these services for longer. All right, guys, hopefully you weren't too bored by the PowerPoint, but that's like kind of the meat and potatoes just straight from the VA itself. But, you know, if you guys registered with any of that at the end, you know, a serious and a handicap of uh, employment, I hope you're. I hope that's getting I hope that's been documented and you guys are getting taken care of by the VA. OK, because that right there, I mean, anything you guys think may have happened in the military. Hopefully you guys are getting that taken care of by the VA. And if not, you know, you guys are getting ready to put a little bit about my story on uh, VR and E. So I used about three months of my GI Bill and then I I got approved for Vogue Rehab. What I'm going to say about Voc Rehab is you want to do your own homework before you go ahead and meet with your counselor. It's very easy to apply. You just go ahead and apply on va.gov, and we'll I'll do another video to walk you guys through how the couple ways that you can apply for it. Um, but the easiest way is just to get on va.gov and apply for my uh, my educational benefits. And you should hear something back within 30 days. Then you the next step would be for you to either meet remotely since the COVID's happened and everything like that. People are now meeting remotely or you like I did four years ago, you know, I went into the counselor's office and they depending on the counselor, honestly, they might lay it all out on the table for you or they might say, what do you want to do? And then you don't even know what's going on because someone just told you about this program and you're now sitting in the hot seat and, you know, these benefits do run out. You can't just go to school forever. But here's something that you guys need to know. A couple of years ago, the the VA passed a new law that you're actually able to use your, you're, you're able to go to school for voc rehab now. So say you went to school for 48 months and you got a bachelor's degree. Well, now if you have a post 9-11 GI bill, you can use your GI bill after. And that's what I'm getting ready to do. So I went to school for four years and now I'm going to get ready to go ahead and go for my master's degree. And I still got about 31 months of my GI bill left. So why are you guys, you know, before, if you use Voc Rehab first or vr &E, whatever you want to call it, they would deduct that from your overall educational benefits, but that's not the case anymore. So, you know, there's many ways to skin a cat, as they say. I'm not trying to tell you what to do with uh, your benefits, but I'm trying to tell you that you should, you guys should use them. I mean, for Tampa, Florida, the BAH is now $2,700 a month tax-free. I mean, you add that up. And, you know, that's more than 30, I don't know, what is that, like 30 something thousand dollars a year um, that you guys are making tax free to go to school to learn to learn more, essentially. Um, you know, some people I worked a lot of bad jobs and I just had enough of working jobs for fourteen dollars an hour, killing myself in these kitchens when I knew I was suitable for more. But I was just never getting the opportunity to uh, showcase my skills or just perform at a high level when I got out the military. And then you find something like your school benefits. And honestly, if you're going to school and you, you're not in a higher tax bracket, you're also going to be uh, eligible for your Pell Grant, which is another $800 a month. But we're kind of getting off topic with that. But that's just more stuff that we need to hit on. So essentially, hey, let me know what you guys know about Voc Rehab. Let me know if you learned something today. Let me know if you got any questions for me. Um, you know, anything, man. But just... and men and ladies just take this into consideration on your next move because there's so many benefits out here that i never even knew about and i'm still learning but hopefully this helps somebody today you know like comment subscribe on the youtube channel and if you're a veteran or you know a spouse or anyone even if you knew a veteran doesn't matter you know if you want to get on and talk you know about the transition about you know what's out here for the military what people might be missing what kind of opportunities they might be out here for uh veterans alike I love to hear from you. I appreciate you guys listening in. Uh, happy Friday. Hey, call one of your veterans today. Call one of your friends. Call someone that's still in. Tell them that you love them. Tell them that you care about them. Tell them that you're there for them. Try to share your experiences with them. You know, trying to connect, connect everybody in a positive way. And the military, <clears throat> excuse me, came from all over the world, come all different, you know, colors, shapes, sizes, whatever. I made friends with everybody. I don't care. You know, I'm trying to help everybody I can. And hopefully you guys find this, you know, 
something good to do, something good to watch. Kind of started over there, getting excited. My buddy from Fort Campbell, Mo's coming down with his son today, actually. So we're going to get ready to go ahead and pick him up at the airport. Have some, have a good weekend and just thank you for everything. I'll talk to y'all soon. Later.